Lucas Media. So I might be wrong, and I can admit if I'm wrong, but Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump, I thought it was going to be a, a sweep, almost like how the Lakers dominated in the 2000-2001 season when they, only, when they went 15-1, and one, lost one game in the playoffs, game one against the Philadelphia 76ers. But anyway, you know, I'm, I'm going to watch the press conference, and as I'm watching it, I didn't know if I was watching a press conference or a rap concert. What's going on? I know it was down here in Atlanta with Kamala's press conference, but it was just, it was hard to watch. I'm not going to lie. It seems like they're running the same plays over and over again, the same bells and whistles to rally up the troops. And, you know, the thing that was hard to watch was Megan Stallion twerking. Now, I get it. You got to bring these different stars out. You need the Quavos and so on and so forth. But when you twerking on stage to get vote, we twerking for votes now. That's what we doing as black people. That lets you know that the bar was is very low. And I often wonder, what would Frederick Douglass think? Or Ida B. Wells or Harriet Tubman and uh, Du Bois. So on and so forth. Like, what would our icons think? What would Marcus Garvey think? We twerking for votes? And then I listen to her, what she's saying, and it just seems like it's the same old. And I'm not, I'm not a, listen, man, vote for whoever you want to vote for. But we is they basically trying to make you feel a like, guilt trip you to say oh you got you need to vote her you need to vote for her because she black but y'all don't we don't support each other because we black we don't support black businesses but i need to vote for her what are you going to do for us what laws are we going to get passed for black people i don't care about no anti-lynching bill that bill is 100 years too late but this is what they do you know like i always say they run a statue of liberty every single time even though this is 2024. We got technology and we can study film. They run the same plays over and over again. What policies is going to get passed? Like, okay, we put a black woman in office, then what? What's going to happen with our neighborhoods? What's going to happen with our school systems? How do we stop the Pookies and Ray Rays from making us lock our doors at night and have bars on our doors? You know, how are we going to get these black men off the streets? What type of policies is going to help for that? How to have people with felonies get hired? I don't care about Megan Thee Stallion twerking. Most of us don't. And when I checked the comments, actually, most people was against all of that. Like, I mean, twerk, I, there's a time and a place for this. A time and a place. You really are twerking on stage? On stage for a presidential candidate. But this is what they think of us. This is what other people think of black people and this is what black people think of black people the bars it's, it's sad man it's sad the bar is so low you know we, we're, we're the only people we're the only people out there that we don't do nothing to get anything changed we just want to feel we just want to put her in office to feel good so we can say a black woman got an office okay that's fine let's put her in office but what is going to be done for us i don't care about oh, all americans all americans but how come everybody else can get stuff done but we can't everybody can get other stuff done but we can't so we'll see i mean i don't know it might be closer than what i thought but we'll see you know it's just it's sad i just i know y'all know what i'm talking about when she turned around and really was twerking and the fact that it's being done on the world stage <laughs> like <laughs> and this is what something we will never understand you know you over there twerking and stuff and then when you do stuff like that you're a you're a representation of your race whether you like it or not so what do other races think about y'all about about our queens our black women they think they easy you know somebody that you can just kick it with from time to time you know get their hair and nails done and and that's it but then at the same time we want to oh we want to be respected the same but when you turn around and twerk it and stuff and again we ain't talking about a, a a regular concert where people pay. This is for the president, the potential president of the United States of America, the person with the new with the f nuclear football, and we twerking for votes. You know, we, we it's so bad that we gotta have rappers and entertainers be the face of black people, not doctors, lawyers, businessmen, none of that. It's these are rappers and entertainers, and like I said, we bending over for votes. We twerking for votes. That. I, Man, we got such a low bar, man. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.